So let me uh, introduce the folks who are up here, uh, starting on uh, the far left, uh, Jim Mizek, who is um, Associate Director, and we're getting feedback too, I think. Associate Director of Family Medicine at Metro Health. Now I'm dead. Uh, I'm good? All right, I'm good. No, I'm not good, but I'm at least, you can at least hear me. Um, at uh, Metro Health, who's been uh, doing the uh, patient-centered medical home uh, project there. Uh, Tim, let me find Tim. Tim Kowalski, uh, board certified physician in internal medicine, um, but is also the chief medical officer at Progressive Medical uh, Insurance. Um, uh, next to his right is uh, Dr. Richard Schonk, um, who's a family practitioner um, and um, is the market medical director for United Healthcare um, uh, for Southwest Ohio, but has encroached into Northeast Ohio uh, <laughs> because he's um, uh, a, a expert on medical home uh, projects. Um, and last but not least is uh, Kevin uh, Louder Young. Uh, Young, is it Young? Louder Young. Um, who's uh, Executive Vice President for Managed Care with uh, Medical Mutual. Um, so what we're going to do is ask uh, each of them uh, to give you at most uh, five minutes of comments about the things that they are doing, and then I will uh, ask them some questions. Um, so to keep them to their five minutes, I will warn you in advance that when you go beyond your five minutes, I'm going to start clearing my throat uh, increasingly <laughs> loudly uh, until no one will be able to hear you anymore anyway. Um, so uh, with that, so I'm going to start with Kevin. Um, so Medical Mutual, big insurance company uh, here in the market. Um, and so you've been focusing on things like medical home initiatives. What have you been doing to be able to try to encourage this? And what are your thoughts about what needs to be done by health insurance companies? You know, we got the questions in advance. So <laughs> I, had an, I had an opportunity to actually prepare for this, but- uh, You only got the first question. <laughs> as, uh, you didn't get the second question. So, as, uh, as Mike Tyson says, uh, everybody has a game plan until they get punched in the mouth. So uh, <laughs> my punch in the mouth this morning was uh, actually not a punch in the mouth. It was, uh, it was a real pleasant surprise. Uh, when I first got in the healthcare industry, the first, first guy I worked for was Vince Cavill. Mm -hmm. And I, Vince, we've been working on this. I know you recognize from the slides today that it's the same thing that we were roaming around the country uh, trying to help solve health systems and payers problems. And uh, there's something that you used to say to all of our clients that, uh, that has stuck with me today, and I think it's relevant today. Vince would say that the big fallacy in healthcare is that all PCPs, all primary care physicians, are good managers of care, and all specialists are not. And as I was looking at the slides this morning, all patient-centered medical homes are good managers of care, and all non-patient-centered medical homes are not, I think is another fallacy that we should prepare ourselves for. Um, the patient-centered, being a patient-centered medical home, um, being a patient-centered medical home is not the answer. It's not that you are a patient-centered medical home, it's what you do as a patient-centered medical home. And that each market that we serve is at different degrees of readiness to do the kinds of things that make sense to all of us that a patient-centered medical home would do. And we are working, uh, Medical Mutual is working um, in each of the markets trying to um, create the kind of partnerships and relationships with patient-centered medical homes, with patient-centered medical homes that are part of larger accountable care organizations, and with other provider entities that are prepared to work with us to better coordinate activities and not just be accountable themselves, but to help us make our members accountable for improving the affordability of care through higher quality. You look, we look at the concept of um, all of the opportunities to improve quality in the health system. What our customers look to Medical Mutual for is to help them make healthcare affordable for their employees, and for a growing number of individuals, help keep healthcare affordable for them. So 
as Harold talked about the, the data revolution, the infra, what's really changed, Vince, in the last 15 years are payment reform in the old days was capitation, uh, a PCP gatekeeper, and it was just a financing mechanism. Nothing changed in the delivery system. It was just a change in the financing system. We have an opportunity now to combine electronic medical record information, quality information, with claims information to help the primary care physician get a more complete picture of their patient and, and engage with the provider community, the local provider community that are at different stages of development and have different types of organizations to help leverage that collective picture to improve health, improve population health, and hopefully to improve the population cost for our customers. Great, thank you. Um, let me go, Dick, is it right, Dick? Dick, let me go to Dick and uh, United Healthcare, also working on patient centered medical home. What are your thoughts in terms of how are your projects working and what do you think is the path to the future? First of all, he's correct, I am encroaching. And I, and I want to uh, correct that. Uh, I want to introduce my uh, counterpart, Joe Eshelman, if you'll stand up, uh, is, our, is your market medical director for Cleveland for United Healthcare. So he's new to United for about the last month. I want to make sure that everybody saw his face and could uh, we'll actually, try not to scare all the tough away. questions can go to him and then I will take the easy ones. Um, where uh, I am a family physician and when I, and I didn't grow up in health plans, I grew up uh, in the provider side. I got busy doing administrative activity in hospitals and was at the Riverside Hospital in Ohio Health in Columbus for a few years and I was at the Cleveland Clinic as a few of you in the audience know and, uh, and it's good to see uh, some old friends again. Uh, but I was uh, very kind of surprised when I got a call from United one day to say, you know, would you be interested in um, you know, coming to work for United. And then I never envisioned myself working for a health plan, heaven forbid. Uh, and the, um, but I talked to the CEO and then, I, um, he's, and then he convinced me that it's a time for a new day here. We need to change the way in which we uh, partner. And um, I went and told my old partner that I used to practice with that I was going to go to work for United Healthcare. And after he picked a, his jaw up off the ground, uh, he looked at me and he shook his head and, you know, kind of like the father said, whatever happened to this guy? You know, wh wh where did I go wrong? Um, but he, um, he stopped and he thought about it and he said, you know what? If you could get, that, get them to pay for the coordination of care, it would be worth it. One month later, new medical director for United, I go to Minnesota, Reed Tuxens, chief medical officer for United Health Group, stands up and says, you know, this movement for, toward patient-centered medical home, we need to get behind that. That is something that we need to get behind and work with. And he has been true to that word the four years I've been with United. Um, so it is a new day in, in, in health plans. Uh, I've been privileged to, uh, to work in the uh, multi-payer medical home pilot that United uh, has been participating in the Cincinnati area. Uh, it's been a very uh, steep learning curve for both the practices and the health plans and the employers in that region. Uh, but it has been very rewarding. Uh, and I can only recommend that you embark on a similar, uh, on a similar uh, uh, trip because it is well worth it at the end. Uh, not that we've gotten all the answers and not that we're there yet, but we actually are seeing uh, uh, improvement in healthcare for the, for the members. We're seeing lower cost. Uh, the final data will come out next month, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that all comes with our preliminary data all suggests that. Other pilots that United has been involved with across the country have also demonstrated similar results. Uh, it's interesting, the quality of care in the pilots that we've been seeing has actually demonstrated better improvements than the return on investment. Uh, the return on investment financially is more of a mixed bag so far. Uh, and I do think that it is an important aspect to keep in mind because to the previous point, not all medical homes necessarily come up to that level of actually producing the results that they're after. In fact, what United is doing and what they are uh, presently discussing is how do we approach this in maybe a little bit more intelligent fashion? How do we learn from the pilots that we've run what really works and what doesn't work? What's essential, what's not essential? One interesting thing about it, and, and is the NCQA certification sufficient? 
just to get the NCQA level three medical home, does that really make you more cost effective? Does that increase your value? 